Welcome to our tech troubleshooting series. Today we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when using Git. One of our viewers has run into a problem while trying to commit their changes. They received an error message that reads, pre-commit hook, no such file or directory. Let's break down this issue and find out how to resolve it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. The error message indicates that the pre-commit hook is trying to execute a file that doesn't exist. Let's start by checking the pre-commit hook configuration. In the pre-commit file, look for the line that references slash node modules slash pre-commit slash hook. This line is attempting to run a script that should be located in your node modules directory. If the file does not exist, you may need to install the pre-commit package. You can do this by running the following command in your terminal. After installing, confirm that the hook file is now present in the node modules directory. If it is, try committing again. If you still encounter issues, ensure that your Git version is compatible with the pre-commit hook and that your Node.js environment is correctly set up. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're seeing a no such file or directory error with your pre-commit hook, check the first line of your script. It should start with a shebang, like slash bin sh. You can use any executable file as the interpreter, such as slash bin bash or slash local bin 3, as long as it exists and is executable. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. If you're encountering a no such file or directory error with pre-commit hooks on macOS, it might be due to an outdated Python installation after upgrading via Homebrew. To resolve this, check the shebang line in your .git hook slash pre-commit file to find the path to the Python executable. Next, navigate to the directory indicated in the shebang and list the Python sim links to identify any broken links. If you find broken sim links, back them up before creating new ones that point to the updated Python executable. Then, create new symbolic links to the updated Python executable using the ln command. Finally, list the sim links again to confirm the updates, and your git commit should work without errors. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're seeing the error 
pre-commit hook no such file or directory, it might be due to changes made while setting up Yarn in WebStorm. The solution is simple, just reinstall pre-commit. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing the no such file or directory error with Husky, here's a quick fix. Just run the command Husky install. Don't forget, this command is mentioned in the Husky documentation under usage. You can also use npm run prepare for a one-time setup. For more details, you can refer to the Husky documentation online. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the no such file or directory error with pre-commit hooks, the user suggests removing the local repository and cloning it again. This issue often occurs when trying to commit and push changes to the master branch accidentally. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one.